C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Portal 2. My name is Oros88 and today we are continuing whatever this is now. Um, so, we reached GLaDOS. We actually interchanged uh, the GLaDOS score for Whitley score, which now we know its name. And we just changed a villain from for another villain. Whitley was like, now I have control. Uh, I'm not a moron. <laughs> Although GLaDOS actually explicitly told us that he was built to slow her down. He is a moron core filling her head with bad ideas all the time. And, uh, and now he has control of everything. So, uh, last we left off, we were falling, and he did, he did tell us that, uh, that Aperture Science is actually miles and miles deep on the Earth, so I'm guessing we will just keep falling, right? And who knows what else awaits for us in the depths of Aperture Science, so I guess let's just return to the game and find out. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Oh, good. <laughs> the slow clap. The slow clap processor made it into this thing. <laughs> so we have that. Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere alarmingly fast, actually. But since we're not busy other than that, How long is this fall? Facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. Oh, and you Jesus. just put him in charge of the entire facility. Yep. <laughs> Good, that's still working. <laughs> hey, just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. Try and grab her. I can't actually. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. <laughs> oh, the logo changed. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Crash landed. Oh, there's GLaDOS. There's a bird. No, GLaDOS, no! <laughs> Where did you go? Okay, so we are at the bottom of Aperture Science now.
places. <laughs> okay, so where do we go from here? Those are not portal friendly, no. So maybe just down here. Keep out. Do not enter condemned testing area. Do not enter keep out. And of course we are going to go in. <laughs> right? Uh, we cannot open this. Tends to authorize personnel only condemned vitrification order June 15, 1961. Do not look at, touch, ingest, or engage in conversation with any substances beyond this point. Engage in conversation <laughs> with any substances. Okay, so this is 1961. Okay. Yeah, 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 RB too soon, but where? Oh, there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Now we have a way in. ton of tons of uh, signs that tell me to not enter and keep out so I guess we should be afraid <laughs> let's just keep going I guess Still power here, oh my god. Okay, number two, zero, zero, number one, zero, zero. Look at the scale of this place, I mean, what did they even do here? Like, why would they need such a huge space? Okay. Hatch reclusion override. Four seconds. Okay, four seconds. Uh, wait. Uh, okay. So we click this one. This one. There we go. Whoa. Jesus. I think this is even bigger than the vaults from uh, Fallout. <laughs> and those were nuclear vaults. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All of that for just a small door. Oh my god. That's just absurd. <laughs> but I mean... <laughs> do not enter. Uh, I, I didn't read this. Abandonment hatch to test shaft 09. Zuluk Bonsen. Do not enter sealed uh, June 15, 1961. Okay. And I guess we're going to enter, right? Oh, look at this. Even... Oh, that's interesting. I gotta admit, this uh, these next uh, puzzles are some of my favorite in the whole saga. So yeah, I mean, I don't remember how to solve them, like first glance, but yeah. Danger! Do not lean on railing. Okay, so this is corrosive water. If I go in, I die. 
just like everything else in this place is trying to kill me so oh look at that at which uh, aperture science logo like falling apart how massive is this place jesus christ So we're going even further back in time. Okay. All of these hatches are closed. I mean, I know, I know there was another, another one open, but I want to see. Equipment discontinued. Contamination area. Underground train to test shafts one to eight. Okay, so we are like skipping the first eight. Uh, testing chambers I guess temperature science right so place portals here pull the lever what lever oh Okay, so Kev Johnson is the guy who owns the place, and if you remember, last time the turret told us uh, something about a secret hiding beneath them, which I think it means this place, and he told us her name is Caroline, and we just met Caroline through the voice. Just keep that in mind. I need to reach that place and I need this ledge to f go flying in the circle over there but I can't remember how to get height so let's try again that oh there we go there we go okay, so this is a height place Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so portal here. Well, a little bit more center. And then we just drop down. Yes. Nicely done. Okay, let's see what's in here. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. <laughs> so they created uh, human mantis hybrids and then they 
used some more testing subjects to destroy them, right? <laughs> I love uh, the time jump we're doing here, like uh, this is all 50s. Welcome to subjects, please sign in with the receptionist before proceeding to the lounge. Aperture science Innova innovators. Oh man, look at this place. Okay, so this guy is Cave Johnson, at least in the 50s. He's like some sort of Walt Disney. Um, Spirit of Idaho, National Potato Board for the Promotion of Potato Science in 1955. Uh, for the Promotion of Potato Science, Aperture Science, Best New Science Company in the year of 1947. The Science and Business Institute of America is proud to, I don't know, to present the award for Best New Science Company, maybe. Then Local Entrepreneur buys Salt Mine, Cave Johnson to bring science industry uh, to Upper Michigan. The future is here and it's under the Earth's crust, says Science Maverick. So we're in Michigan. And we are under a salt, la uh, a salt uh, mine. Cave Jensen, shower curtain salesman of 1943 Aperture Fixtures. So he was actually selling curtains before founding Aperture Science. U.S. Department of Defense, Contractor of the Year, runner-up in 1952. And U.S. Department of Defense, Contractor of the Year, runner-up in 1954. 52 and 54, okay, so two years he won uh, for deals with the government. Top 100 apply applied sciences, no, top 100 applied science companies in 1949, uh, reaching num place number two for Aperture Science, so who won first place? Short Carton Salesman of 1943 for Aperture Fixtures, Cape Johnson, so he even, he even stole the name, Aperture Fixtures became Aperture Science, nice. A lot of lower dump here, <laughs> hopefully this is not too boring for you guys uh, to watch. So let's keep going I guess. A lot of smoking here, let's just... Uh, Grab a look. Oh, we're we're outside again. 1952. Oh, look at this place. It's all coming down into pieces. <laughs> all right, so let's try and push the button here. Uh, please wait for attendant to begin lift. I guess we could have taken the stairs, but it would have been a long ride. Caution, do not fall down the elevator shaft. We're right at the base of this mega sphere here. <laughs> and now, uh, what are we supposed to do? we were supposed to go here, but I guess not. Um, okay. Are we supposed to go there? So we need a portal here. And then what? Oh, the elevator shaft. Of course, of course, of course. Okay. Wait, um, then I think, I 
think we can actually go down one floor and then place one here. There we go. Oh damn. <laughs> that was a long jump. Okay. So pump station alpha. Keep your know your allergens, pollen, animal danger, no animal den dander? Uh, plastics and antimatter. Okay, antimatter is allergenic apparently. <laughs> Look at all these, all these machines. Uh, know your hazardous materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar. Do not inhale fumes no matter how good they smell. <laughs> okay, pump station alpha. Gel pressure control. I mean, I'm, turn I'm turning on everything. I'm really surprised that this is actually still working after probably hundreds of years. Can we open this? I cannot open this either. We need to go up there. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Okay, no hand holding. Alright, so I guess this is the prototype of the elevator and the um, disintegration grid. And I think that's a good point for us to end the episode here. So yeah guys, I I really hope you are enjoying, and if you are, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in the next test chamber of Pluto. See ya!